Firegrid is still in its early development and has not yet been proved to work in a high-rise building. Today, in a 24-storey tower, it's going to be put to the test for the very first time. Over 1,000 sensors and fire-resistant CCTV cameras will monitor the fire about to be started in this office. And specially modified doors and windows will attempt to control it. So basically this is an automatic fireman in a way who is closing and opening doors in the right way so that the fire doesn't grow. The first challenge is to delay flashover for as long as possible. Under normal conditions, this would be expected to happen within four seconds of a fire starting. The test is run from a command center in the ground floor of the tower. In case the experiment goes wrong, firefighters are on standby throughout the building. Final checks are carried out. The firefighters give the all clear. And the fire is lit. Immediately, the smoke detectors have activated. Within seconds, the room begins to fill with deadly smoke. A fireman walking in into this room at this point will see a large glow, which is the fire, but that's all the information he will get. Uh, it will be very dark, filled up with smoke. And uh, even the corridors, as we can see, the corridors are full, so the fireman will not be able to see anything within the corridors. This is the signal to open the windows. As the windows open to allow the smoke out, the doors close to prevent any from escaping into the rest of the building. The smoke is probably the most dangerous aspect of a fire, so containing all the smoke within the room is the first level of protection that you can provide to people. The temperatures are beginning to rise. After two minutes, the fire is growing and the smoke is starting to build up. At this point, most likely most of the people within that floor would have evacuated the building, so we can start opening the doors. After four minutes, all the windows and doors are open. The ventilation seems to have radically slowed the fire's growth. Without any intervention, the fire would have reached flashover conditions. Finally, after 12 minutes, the fire is starting to become uncontrollable. At this point, the fire has picked up the bookshelf, so we have less than a minute before the fire is impossible to control. It's taken over 13 minutes to reach this stage. Torero's experiment is working. Without ventilation, the fire would have reached flashover in just four minutes. So now the fire brigade will go in and extinguish the fire. The system has slowed this fire's growth by three times, and without putting a firefighter at risk, 